So I know a hundred things <laughs> feels like a lot of things, but let me just preface that by saying that part of what we do is we test things out, we check things out. So we are frequently looking for, are there better solutions than maybe what we're currently using? We've learned a lot. In fact, at the end of this video, I'm gonna link a video of things not to buy. But in this video, we've got a hundred things that we're using for RV life currently. You can get on Amazon today. Let's jump right in. So number one is a water pressure regulator. This is something that you definitely need. We like the adjustable style. We've tried many styles over the years. We've landed on this one. Number two, this Y spigot adapter. And you can see we actually just leave all of this connected so that when we set up at a campground, it just makes it a little bit easier. But this Y adapter is nice to have. If you want to hook this up to the actual campground thing, then you've got your water coming into the RV and then an option for a second hose if you need to rinse feet or a car or whatever else. Number three are these quick connects. So this particular quick connect, we've tried several of this particular style. We've landed on this Gorilla one, but this way when you go to undo your hose, you're not having to unscrew it. You can just use this little quick connect right here. Number four is your drinking water hose. Now we switched to this Evo Flex water hose and we really love this. Number one, it's blue. So you just have no confusion as to which hose was I using for what. Definitely don't want to use your freshwater drinking hose to accidentally flush your black tank. So the blue color's nice. It's just a mental reminder. So number five is a zero G hose. Now this particular hose, it's nice and flexible. We like to have a separate hose on that Y connection to be able to have an extra hose if we need to rinse off dirty feet, a dirty dog, dirty kids, anything that you want to be able to take a quick rinse, but you've already used that water connection split it off into two extra hose. Number six is a surge protector. Now there's lots of different options for these. We recently moved over to this particular one just so that we can monitor some things with Bluetooth. For many, many years, we used the Progressive Industries one and that has also worked great. Number seven is a heavy duty extension cord. Now we keep all of these in clear bins. I'm gonna talk about that in just a minute, but a heavy duty one so that if you're moosh docking and you need to be able to hook up to household electricity, one of these bad boys. Number eight is what's called a dog bone adapter. Now this basically helps you to be able to step up or step down if you have a different amperage at your campsite. For instance, we have a 50 amp RV. If we need to plug into 30 amp, we need to be able to step that connection down. That is where these come in, super helpful. So number nine on the list are some disposable gloves. Now we keep a box of these down by the next thing I'm gonna show you. So number 10 is a sewer hose, absolutely a must. We actually carry a spare because we one time had a poopsie. Number 11 is a clear elbow. Now this might seem gross, but you actually do want to make sure that everything that is supposed to come out actually is. So it is nice to be able to have a visual for that. Number 12 is in sewer hose support. Now these are actually required in some campgrounds. They will not let you just lay the sewer hose down on the ground. But the other thing is, is you know what flows downhill? This is actually helpful to make sure that that process is going the way it should. Number 13 thing that we can get on Amazon are these clear storage containers. A clear storage container is super helpful because you can see right what you have in it. Now, number 14 on the list are camping chairs. You absolutely need some of these. We also keep some extra ones just for those times that people want to join us around the campfire. Number 15 are tire covers. Now we use these if we're going to be parked for more than say a week at a time. Tires are expensive and we want to protect this investment. Now, number 16 is our travel map. We got this on Amazon when we first started RVing. This is probably one of our most asked about things that appears in a lot of our videos. Number 17 is Reflectix to put in the windows. Great for summer and winter as well. Number 18 thing we've gotten on Amazon is this window film for windows that you really don't want to see in or out of. So number 19 is our micro air thermostat. Now we love this because we can actually monitor and set the temperature remotely. You can also set alerts for a certain temperature range. So if it is outside of that range, you get an alert letting you know that the inside of your RV might not be so comfortable. Number 20, RV specific GPS. Now you can get this on Amazon also from Techno RV, links below. This has saved us potential accidents more times than I can count. So number 21 is this Govee hydrometer. Now this is actually one of the best gadgets we have found for RV life for multiple reasons. This will tell you the temperature and you can check on this remotely via Wi-Fi. So one of the places that we like to keep this is in our fridge. I can actually check the temperature of the fridge on the app on my phone without having to open the fridge 
super important if you're having a cooling issue. You don't want to open that up and let all the cold air out so we can figure out what the temperature is without opening the door. Number 22 is our new Voyager backup camera. Now, because this is a 20 year old RV, we were having some problems with the factory one. This one, got it on Amazon, love it. Now you wanna make sure you're subscribed because we've got a whole video coming on the install process of this very soon. All right, number 23 is this spill-proof dog bowl. This has been invaluable for traveling with pets. Number 24 is this mat where we actually put Alaska's food. That is because he will not eat food from a normal dish. We have to put it on the mat or else he'll just dump it on the floor. This mat keeps it contained. So number 25 is our hands-free dog leash. I would not be without this now when we're RVing. Number 26 is the top entry litter box that we are using right now for the cats. Now, we've got a really exciting mod when it comes to litter boxes coming up. You're gonna wanna make sure you're subscribed because future video coming. Number 27 is a portable pet fence. Now these work great for pets, but also if you've got younger kiddos and you wanna just create a barrier around your campsite. Now, number 28 is actually a special little deal that we have here for Alaska on his collar. This holds an air tag. So if for some reason he does wander off, we can find where he is, which leads us into number 29, the actual air tag that is inside of this. So number 30 are these protective sheets that we put on the dinette to keep the cats from scratching these up. These have been a furniture saver. Number 31 are command hooks. These are an absolute must if you're living the RV life or just on a smaller scale and they're renter friendly. Now number 32 are small little boxes like this that you can mount on walls for storage. And speaking of mounting things on the wall, we have found that nano mounting tape is definitely your friend. Number 34 are these command strips that are Velcro. Now this is super nice to be able to mount things like picture frames or anything that maybe you want to be able to stick on but then be able to pull off without having to use new command strips every time. Number 35 is this stick on hat organizer. This has been awesome to organize all of our hats. Number 36 is space saving bags for storage. Lots of options for these on Amazon. Number 37 is the Oxygenix shower head. We have loved this thing, especially for boondocking. Number 38 are these zipper mesh pouches from Amazon. I absolutely love these for organizing anything around the RV. So 39 is a dehumidifier. Now we don't need this as much during summer months if the AC is running all the time, but when the weather starts turning cooler, you definitely want to combat the moisture with one of these. And speaking of getting rid of moisture in an RV, number 40 is Damp Rid. This is another great product to help keep moisture out of the air in an RV. Number 41 are these microfiber towels. We love these because they are small, compact, and they dry very quickly. Now, number 42 are these products from Unique Camping and Marine, which is the sponsor of this video. And we are so thankful to them because we love these things. Now, these digest it pods really do help to keep those black tank smells away, but it actually helps to prevent any sort of clogs. It digests solid waste. And let's just say we don't even need to go into great detail on what that means for you as an RVer. And then the toilet cleaner. Now, this was something that was brand new to me that I learned when we were battling some black tank smells. And that is using anything with bleach or something that kills bacteria can make those black tank smells worse. So using this particular cleaner, there's no bleach in it and that cleans the toilet, but doesn't kill the bacteria, which then helps to keep those smells away. And we do have a discount because we've partnered with Unique Camping and Marine on Amazon. So you can save 15% on Amazon and the link is in the description below. Now, number 43 is actually what I like to call an RV size hair dryer. Now I like to use this travel RV size hair dryer because the cord actually then retracts into the hair dryer. And so it just takes up less space and anything that takes up less space in an RV, this is totally your friend. Number 44 is a hanging closet organizer. Now, these are your friend in small spaces, whether it's an RV or just another small space in general. This particular one is a stow and go, which I absolutely love because you can pack it up, throw it in a suitcase or put it back in the closet. Number 45 is this little uh, step suction cup thing. Now, why? Why, you might ask? Well, let me tell you, this is a lifesaver. When you are in an RV shower, there is not much room, let alone room, to rest your foot on something while you are shaving your legs. If you 
have hairy legs and need to shave them. So anyway, this suction cup, super, super strong. It does need a solid flat surface, but I have not had this fall down on me yet. My tan line. Ooh, you got some white going on there. <laughs> now, number 46 are these waterproof crib sheets on Amazon, and I use these to protect our dinette cushions. Number 47 are these backpacks from G4 Free. Now, we have several of these. I love these for day trips because, let's face it, you don't live the RV life to just live in a smaller space on a smaller scale. We want to travel and explore, and we do a ton of that and we need to be able to bring stuff with us. And speaking of which, next on the list are these dry bags. Now, we often like to do things like paddle boarding, kayaking, going out where there's water, and these dry bags help to keep things dry, like our camera equipment, towels, whatever else. Number 49 on the list is this little multi-outlet. Now, it really, really helps when you're in an RV and do you have multiple options to plug into because outlet space in an RV, let's just say it's at a premium. So number 50 on the list is our Splendid all-in-one washer dryer. Now we actually had one that came from the factory that unfortunately bit the dust, but after 20 years, hey, kind of expect that. We bought this one on Amazon, yes we did. Had it delivered to where we were in the RV and we love it. It's a little bit bigger than our stock one was too. Now 51 is a mini waffle maker. I am all about what I call RV size appliances. Now 52 is my RV size instant pot that is right here. Love using this, it's on a smaller scale so it's easier to put away. Now 53 is our induction cooktop. We did get this on Amazon and then we went ahead and did a permanent install on this. Number 54, air fryer absolute must have in an RV if you ask me. We've done so many things that are in here. And then number 55 are my collapsible bowls. I absolutely love any and everything that is collapsible just to save space in an RV. So number 56 is our Blackstone. Love that for some outdoor RV cooking. Number 57 is this roll up dish drying rack. I absolutely love this because it can go over any sink and then when it's not in use, roll it up and store it away. So 58 is this little handy tool that I found on Amazon. Now this is almost like a knife and a cutting board all in one and it's super compact. So I love this for RVing. So 59 are disposable items for boondocking. So things like paper plates, plastic cutlery when you're boondocking and you're trying to conserve water. These are definitely items to have on hand. Now, number 60 is non-skid shelf liner. Now we have this in all of our shelves to keep things from sliding around on travel days, but we have also used it on countertops to set things on to keep those from shifting as well. Number 61 is mounting putty that I get on Amazon. Now I love this. You can use this for things on walls, but I actually like to have some little fake plants around and these keep them secure. They're not moving on a travel day. In fact, they're not gonna move period. So number 62 is this little gem that I'm sitting on right now. And that is the purple seat cushion. Now, when we went to the world's largest truck stop in Iowa, a trucker told us about these and how they make driving so much easier. But he said, don't buy it there at the truck stop. They were overpriced. Get it on Amazon. And that's what we did. So number 63 is actually bedding. Now I wanted bedding that matched for the kids' bunks because their bunks kind of are in our sort of living room area. I wanted it to look a little bit nicer. So got some matching bedding on Amazon. Number 64 are these USB powered fans. Now the nice thing about these, in addition to using 12 volt electricity, is you actually can take them off, take them outside, Clip them onto your camping chair and enjoy the breeze. Now 65 on the list is this insulation from Camco. Now actually, as I just pulled it down, I can actually really feel there's a lot of heat on this. And so this is great to help keep heat out, but also cold air. So if you're RVing this winter and you're trying to keep your RV warmer, these are great. All right, number 66 are these adjustable tension rods. Now, these adjust by twisting in or out, but I love these for places like our freezer where I want to be able to hold things in place and not open this up after a travel day and have an avalanche. 
Now, number 67 on the list are deployable or portable solar panels. Now, we love these because the sun can be at different angles. Even the panels we have on our roof, if we're parked in the shade, well, that does us no good at all. So these can be moved around to capture the angle of the sun, but also to charge other things that can be charged off of solar. Now, number 68 are these screens that go over the outside of areas where there's propane use. These help to keep out bugs, lots of critters that like to get in there and this keeps those quarter free. Number 69 is a picnic table cover. Now, these are great for being able to cover picnic tables. We've seen some pretty gross stuff at campground picnic table areas. We don't wanna talk about it, but cover that stuff up. Number 70, a collapsible bucket. Now, it is nice to be able to have a bucket if you need to wash your RV, your tow vehicle, whatever, collapses down so you can fold it away for easy storage. So number 71 on the list, is a stick style vacuum. Now, this is actually the one we're using right now. Not super crazy about it. We'll just tell you that up front, but a stick style vacuum is a must. So let us know if you have one and if you like it, let us know in the comments what you've got. Number 72 is our Flagpole Buddy Starlink mount. Now this is now available on Amazon and we love this to be able to put our Starlink up. Now, number 73 is a portable power station. Now, we have several different makes and models, and we're pretty happy with all of the ones that we have used that we have gotten on Amazon. Blue Eddy is probably our favorite one, but these are super handy to have because you never know when you might need some extra power. So number 74 is a portable AC unit. Now, this is definitely not a must, more of a luxury item. We were able to get our hands on one, but it has been nice having that because some of the areas that we camp at where it's hot, it's nice to have that outside and we can still be outside even when the outside temperatures are warm. Number 75 on the list is this multi-purpose fan from Titan. Now, what this is really designed for is to be able to put in some of these ventilation areas. This is the backside of our fridge. Having some extra ventilation and a fan on the backside of this can really help with the efficiency of it. And so number 75. So number 76 on the list is just kind of an emergency roadside kit. So we're carrying these electronic flares and thankfully we've never had to use them. But if for some reason you would break down, you need something like this to have with you. So number 76 on the list are these Hokena roadside flares. Now, number 77 on the list is a security camera system. Now, we like the Blink security cameras for lots of reasons. One of the biggest things is just really ease of use. It's literally plug and play. These are weather resistant. They have a two year battery life. Lots of reasons that we like these, not sponsored, just a product that we genuinely use and love. Now, number 78 is this little propane torch to be able to start a fire. So. We occasionally do enjoy sitting around the campfire and this makes starting one super easy. So 79 on the list is a flashlight. Now you definitely want one of these. There's lots of scenarios that have happened at the campground where we need to go check something on the exterior of the RV in the dark. This is your friend. Number 80 is this RV lock. Now these have been available for travel trailers, fifth wheels. They're recently available for class A's. We absolutely love having something where we don't have to worry about, did we grab the key or not? Or if the kids are out and about, it's easy for them to come home, press the code, get in or out. Number 81 on the list are hammocks. Now we absolutely love carrying some hammocks with us because you never know when you're gonna come across that wonderful campground, maybe in a state park, that's got the perfect hammocking trees. Our kids love to be able to just hang out in hammocks. You do want to check and make sure that the campground that you're at does allow hammocking, because not all of them do, but it's great to have these along for those perfect sites where you can put one up. Now, number 82 on the list is a folding little step stool or kind of mini ladder. There's a lot of places on the RV that you might need to reach that are just out of reach. So one of these is a lifesaver. Number 83 is a headlamp. Now this is super helpful for, again, those times you need to get to something outside of the RV and maybe you don't want to hold a flashlight need something hands-free, or if you are getting up to go for an early morning hike or going to be out after dark, lifesaver. So number 84 is Gorilla Tape. Now the joke around our household is there is nothing that Gorilla Tape can't fix. Number 85 are zip ties. For whatever Gorilla Tape can't fix, 
there are zip ties. 86 on the list is a fuse kit. Now, let me tell you how important this is. When we first started RVing, very big rookie mistake where we had blown a fuse and didn't have any. And there were no Walmarts, anything in the area for us to get replacement ones. We were in a bind. We now carry a fuse kit. So number 87 on the list is a new product that we have run across for RV life. And this is the Datavac electric duster. Now, this is basically like those cans of compressed air that you get, but it does it all here. No more cans that you have to buy. Super handy to be able to keep things clean, especially in an RV. Kids, pets, need I say more? So number 88 is actually this digital tire pressure gauge. This can be helpful for just making sure that you're not misreading one of those gauges that shoots the little thing out of the bottom. So we love this. And then next on the list is this Vi Air compressor. Now we would not be without this because these tires on this RV are like huge PSI. I mean, we're talking well over a hundred and you need a heavy duty compressor if you need to add air into a tire. Now, number 90 is this portable jumper set cable. I don't even know how to explain it. I'm not super technical when it comes to that, but this actually will jumpstart your car. Yes, I know it seems so small, but it will. So if you end up needing a jumpstart, even for a drivable RV, this and this will get you going again. So we like to keep this for those emergencies. All right, 91 on the list are our Battleborn lithium batteries. Now you can get these on Amazon. You can also get them directly through Battleborn, which is how we did it. But for some reason, if you need that convenience of the free prime two day shipping or whatever, they are on Amazon as well. So number 92 on the list are Victron components to go along with our Battleborn setup. Again, Battleborn is our first option for ordering these, but they're also available on Amazon if that's more convenient. All right, number 93 on the list is this telescoping ladder. Now we've had this for several years and I will say a hundred seems like a lot of things. Yes, it can be. However, these are all things over the last five years of RV life that we've learned that, oh, this works better than that. And that's where we came up with this list. And this is one of those things. So when we first started, we were carrying like an actual six foot ladder because there's going to be times you need to access the roof in areas that are not just with your ladder that maybe you have on the back or on the sides of the RV higher up. So this telescopes down. Now, one thing you must know about this when it comes to safety is it is very important to use it properly, make sure everything clicks into place. And then when you go to collapse it, make sure that you do it in a way that is safe so that you don't sustain any injuries. Number 94 on the list are work gloves. Now we actually have a couple of different sets of work gloves that we keep in different compartments of the RV, depending upon what we're going to need them for, maybe what we use them for most often. But I learned early on in my 20s from somebody very wise in my life to keep a set of work gloves in your car, in your RV, anywhere where maybe potentially you're going to have to make a repair and you wanna protect your hands. So number 95 on the list is this E-Tech City infrared thermometer. Now we have used this so many times in the RV from checking the temperature of air that's coming out of the AC system to checking the fridge temp to checking the temp of the engine. Pretty much anywhere where you're concerned about temperature, this is a great little tool. Now, number 96 is what I like to call an RV size drill, just something that's a little bit smaller because it doesn't take up a lot of space, not super heavy. RV life equals repairs. So <laughs> be equipped with some of the tools that you might need on the road. So remember that part about RV life means repairs? Yes, so you want to be equipped. This little multimeter is a great tool. I cannot tell you how many repairs we've been able to make on our own because we've had some basic things to be able to troubleshoot and saved a ton of money by doing repairs on our own. All right, number 98 is either just a pad for kneeling or we like to actually just use this yoga mat for those types of scenarios. There's gonna be scenarios you need to crawl up under things, kneel down to access something. It gets pretty hard on the body if you don't have some sort of padding. Number 99 are some bungee cords. Again, if Gorilla Tape or zip ties won't fix it, try a bungee cord. So number 100 on the list is a fire pit. Now we have used a lot of different styles of fire pits over the years. We have had a solo stove, which those are great if you want to be able to have that just fire smell of a campfire. 
which I'm personally not a fan of. So I like the propane stove. Also, if there is a fire ban in areas, sometimes they'll let you use a propane stove in those types of areas. So we've kind of gone to this now, a little bit more versatile, way less cleanup, and we can still have our s'mores. Come here, here. He's like, you guys are up to something. I know, he's always like, wait a minute, this is a trick. Now you see it? so easy. Now you don't, okay. Whoa. Easy there, big shooter. Now 53, right? Sorry. All right, so number one is a water pressure like that. <laughs> number seven is extension cords. Now, ugh. You definitely made it look easier that time. <laughs> Just get it on, hold on. That was great. But if for some reason you need that convenience of the, I hope I said eight or seven. So I'm trying to keep track. Oh yeah. There you we go. Let's see it. You want the nice greenie? Greenie? Thanks. Thanks, guys. Furniture saver. What are you doing? Is my knee dirty? You need to lick my knee? All right, number 45. Right, 45. So number 100. Woo! Feeling the heat on this. So you'll have to let us know if any of these things were new to you, you didn't know about them, let us know in the comments. Also, let us know what are some of your favorite things for RV life. I'm gonna leave a video right up here about things that actually didn't work out and they were a waste of money and you don't want to waste your money on those, video right up here. If we don't see you out on the road or around the campground, we'll catch you in the next video.